If you're looking to get discovered online, it's important to understand keyword research. Once you identify the right keywords, you can then use these in your digital marketing activities, such as adding keywords throughout your website so that when potential customers type in keyword search terms related to your business, products, or services, then your business will show up on search engines like Google Search. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel. I hope all is well on your side of the world. Now in this keyword research tutorial for beginners, I'm excited to share four ways that you can start engaging in keyword research, which is an important online activity for growing your business online. Okay, so before we go ahead and get started, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that quick note out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into keyword research. <music> Okay, so like I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, what we're going to do is dive into four methods or four ways that you can engage in keyword research. Now, two of these methods are completely free, whereas the other two are paid methods. And the first free method that we're going to use to engage in keyword research is leveraging Google search. Simply head over to Google and in the search bar, what you want to do is type in a keyword that you believe your potential customers are typing into Google to find your business products or services. And the example we're using today is a roofing company that's based in Sydney. And as you can see, the relevant keyword I added is roof repair Sydney. And then once you've typed in a keyword, simply navigate down to ads and you'll see some ads that have appeared based on the keyword that you're searching. And here, what you wanna do is look at the title and also look at the description of these ads and identify keywords that are similar to the keyword that you searched into Google. For example, if I navigate down here, the first ad that appears is tiled roof repair. So what I would do is add this keyword search term, tiled roof repair, down on a list, this could be a Google document, you could also use a tool that you use for recording notes. You want to identify these keywords that are similar to the keyword that you entered into Google search. Now add these keywords into a Google document, it could be a spreadsheet or any other tool that you use to record notes. If you use pen and paper, that's completely fine. Go ahead and add a list of similar keywords. Again, if I navigate down here, I can see another keyword. What I would do is add house roof repair. I'd also add roofing supplies. Then after ads, what we wanna do is navigate down past the map listings and locate website results. And again, what you wanna do is identify keywords in the title as well as in the description. So here we have roof repairs, roof repair, Sydney, and we also have roof leak repair, which we haven't added yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and add roof leak repair Sydney. I'm also going to add roof repair services. And then if I navigate down further, we have Sydney roof maintenance. I'm gonna add this as a keyword, as well as new roof. So I hope that makes sense. What you wanna do is take the time to navigate through the first page of Google search and identify keywords that are in the title and description of websites that are ranking high in Google search. And what you wanna to do to get started is add 10 to 20 keywords that you wanna target. Again, you can navigate back up to your search bar and type in another keyword that you wanna do some research on. So leveraging Google search is one of the best ways to quickly identify keywords that your competitors are ranking for and that you want to use in your online marketing activities like adding those keywords in your Google ad campaigns and to essentially use these keywords to rank your website higher in search engines like Google search when a potential customer types in a keyword that you want to target. Okay, so on to the second method. What we want to do is leverage Google search again. However, this time we're going to install a Chrome extension called Keywords Everywhere, and this is a paid tool. Simply head over to your Chrome or Firefox browser and type in keywordseverywhere.com and that's going to take you here. Then navigate down and go ahead and install for Chrome or install for Firefox, depending on the browser that you use. 
So I've already gone ahead and installed the Keywords Everywhere Keyword Research tool onto Chrome. So what I'm going to do is head back to Google Search. And here we are on Google Search again. Then what you want to do once you've installed the Chrome extension, navigate up to Extensions and locate the Keyword Research tool. Then simply go ahead and turn on. Then navigate over to this section over here and select the country that you want to target. So for us, because we're engaging in keyword research for a roofing company that's based in Australia, we want to select Australia. However, you can also select global if your audience is based all around the world. However, today, again, like I mentioned, I'm going to go ahead and select Australia and then click out of here and then simply refresh the page. And the first thing that you'll notice once you've refreshed your page and turned on the Keywords Everywhere extension is down here we have Volume, CPC, which is cost per click and competition level over here. Basically, when you type in a keyword search term that you want to do some keyword research on, you'll see the amount of search volume per month. So this keyword search term is searched 1,600 times per month in Australia. And then we have the CPC cost per click, which is $4.09 for this keyword here. That means if I was running Google ads like these ads over here, then I would be paying $4.09 per click if a potential customer clicked through to my website when they click on one of these ads. Again, this is if you're using Google ads to drive business. So if I was targeting this keyword with Google ads, then it will cost me $4.09 the cost per click if a potential customer clicked on my ad. Next to that we have the competition level which is 0.45, 1 being the highest competition. So 0.45 is medium competition in terms of other competitors that are trying to rank for this search term. Then what we can also do is navigate down the page and you'll see this trend data for Roof Repair Sydney or the keyword that you typed in. And you can see the overall growth of that search term in terms of people searching for that particular keyword. As you can see, this keyword has been pretty stable over the last 10 years. Then if we navigate down to related keywords, you can identify other related keywords that you want to target. And then again, you can see the search volume, the CPC cost per click, as well as the competition level over here and the trend. So as you can see, roof repair near me is a popular search term with over 4,000 searches per month and it also has a low CPC cost per click. So this is a keyword that I'd want to add in my list of keywords that I want to target. I'd also navigate through these other related keywords and I'd add these other keywords that I believe are relevant to my business, my products or services. Again, you want to identify keywords that have a relatively high search volume. You can also navigate down to people also searching for, and you can identify keywords that people are also searching for on Google search. So again, I would add some of these keywords onto my list of target keywords that I want to use. Remember, you want to add at least 10 to 20 keywords. Then if we navigate down further, we have long tail keywords. And long tail keywords are basically long search terms, as you can see down here. So for me, I'd go ahead and add Leaking Roof Repair Sydney. I'd also add Roof Leak Repair Sydney. And then there's some other ideas I could add, like Slate Roof Repair Sydney, if this is a service that I offer. And then we also have Emergency Roof Repair Sydney. If I offer Emergency Roof Repairs, then I'd go ahead and add that as a keyword. And you can actually turn off some of these settings if you like. Now it's important to know that every time you search for a keyword, then you're using credit. And once you've run out of all those keyword search credit, then you will have to pay for more credit. For example, if I head back over to the Keywords Everywhere website and then navigate over to pricing, you can see down here that one credit equals one keyword and your credits expire after one year. If we navigate down, we can buy $10 worth of credits, which is 100,000 credits. So you can see there is a small investment, but it's worth it if you're serious about keyword research. Okay, so next, what we wanna do is move away from Google search and use two separate tools. One is paid and one is a free tool that you can use to engage in keyword research. The first tool that we wanna highlight is called the Keyword Planner that you can find within your Google Ads account. 
simply head over to your browser and type in ads.google.com. Now it's important to note to use the keyword planner for keyword research, you do not have to spend money on Google Ads. So technically it's a free tool. However, if you spend money on Google Ads, then you'll notice that within the keyword planner, you'll have more detailed data that you can measure. If you currently do not have a Google Ads account and you're completely new to Google Ads, what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will guide you through the process of creating your first ad and setting up your account. So go ahead and check that out if you're interested in getting started with Google Ads. So once you've signed up for free or signed into Google Ads, simply navigate up to Tools and Settings. Then under Planning over on the left hand side, navigate over to Keyword Planner. Then if you have multiple accounts, you'll be asked to select an account, then navigate over to discover new keywords. Then under start with keywords, simply come down and add a keyword. I'm going to go ahead and use the keyword we've been using in previous examples. And this time I'm going to leave out Sydney, then come down and select the country down here. I'm going to exit out of New Zealand and type in Sydney up here. And I'm going to come down and target Sydney, New South Wales, Australia. So it's important to note if you operate in a geographical location, then you want to add that exact location that you operate in. I'm going to come down and click on save. And again, you can add other locations if you target other locations and you provide your products or services in those locations. Again, you can navigate up here and add additional keywords if you like, but we're just going to add that one keyword in for now. And then down here, we have the option to add a website to help filter unrelated keywords. So you can add a competitor's website in here, and that's going to help you identify more relevant keywords. However, we're going to leave that out and navigate down and click on get results. And within the keyword planner, if we navigate up here, we have the initial keyword that we want to target. This is going to help us identify other keywords that are related to this keyword. We also have the location, the country, the region that we want to target, as well as the language over here. If we navigate down, we can select additional keywords to broaden our search. These are other keywords that are related to the initial keyword that we have just entered. However, what you want to do is just start off with one keyword and first focus on keywords that are related to that target keyword. Now, if we navigate down the page, you'll see a basic graph of the total search volume per month for all the keywords related to the keyword that you entered. And as you can see, that's per month. So in March 2022, there was an 81% increase. Total searches were 39,420 and 19,651 searches were done through mobile. And you can navigate through the past year and see the trend of keywords related to your keyword. If you navigate up to date, you can change the date range. However, November 2021 through to October 2022, which is recent, gives us a recent overview of the search trend. Then if we navigate down the page, you can see our keywords that we provided. So we have roof repair here, and these are the keyword ideas. We've got roof repair near me, roof leak repair, which is a keyword we might not have added or thought about earlier. So we would add this keyword to our list of target keywords. You can see that this keyword is a great keyword to target. You can see that this keyword in Australia, all of Australia, has 2,900 searches per month. The cost per click, how much advertisers are paying for targeting this keyword is $7.71 and the competition level between 1 and 0 is 53, so moderate level of competition. Then the average monthly search volume in the target location which is Sydney is 880 searches for this keyword, roof leak repair per month. And you can also navigate across and see the 3 monthly change. You can see the search volume has increased, so this is a keyword we want to target. The competition is high, and Google is also letting us know the top of the page bid, which is $2.67. This means if a roofing company is targeting this keyword, then the lowest amount they have paid to reach the top of Google search, the first page of Google search, is only $2.67. So if I navigate back over to our keywords, this is definitely a keyword that I want to add to my targeted keywords. Then we also have these other keyword ideas that we can add if we like. 
because this has a high search volume per month within Sydney and I'd also add roofing contractor again because this has a high search volume. And as you can see, the competition is relatively low. If we navigate over here, yep, you can see that Google has identified this keyword as low competition. So I definitely want to target this keyword. I would add this keyword throughout my content on the homepage of my website and other pages of my website. I would also want to add some of these keywords like roofing contractor in my meta title and description as well as my title and description when using Google Ads. Then once you've added keywords to your list, what you want to do is repeat the process, however, with different keywords that are related to your business products or services and simply repeat this process until you have a strong list of keywords that you want to use online for your different marketing activities. Again, like I mentioned, if you're currently not using Google Ads and you do not want to pay for Google Ads, then you can still use Google Ads and the Keyword Planner. However, you'll have minimal information in terms of the exact information you can see under, for example, search volume, the competition level, the CPC, all this information will be limited. Okay, so now on to our fourth tool, which is a completely free tool that is offered by Neil Patel. And this tool is called Uber Suggest. Simply head over to your browser and type in app.neilpatel.com and that's gonna take you here. Then come down to keyword research over on the left hand side and come down and click on keyword overview. Simply add a keyword. I'm gonna go ahead and add roof repair Sydney again and then navigate over to the language. I'm gonna go ahead and select English then navigate over to the location and I'm going to type in Sydney and here we have Sydney down here and then all we need to do is click on search and if we navigate down to keyword overview we can see the keyword overview for our keyword that we entered which is roof repair Sydney again if we navigate down we have search volume 880 searches per month then we have the SEO difficulty how easy it is to rank on the first page of Google with this keyword. So if a potential customer searches for this keyword, how easy is it for you to rank at the top of Google search? As you can see, this keyword is easy, so I would want to target this keyword. You can also see the paid difficulty as well as the cost per click. Then if we navigate down the page, we have keyword ideas. Again, we have some keyword ideas down here, like the other tools we've talked about. We can also navigate over to the trend over here, and we can see the volume of searches for this keyword per month, the CPC, and the PD and SD. PD stands for paid difficulty, and SD stands for SEO difficulty. So as you can see, all these keywords are in the green, meaning the SEO difficulty, if we wanted to rank our website on Google search, it's relatively easy to do so with these keywords. You can see the paid difficulty if we wanted to use Google Ads to rank at the top of Google search, it's relatively difficult. You can also navigate down and view all keyword ideas. And there's a lot more you can do with each of these tools. For example, if we navigate down, we can view all of the content ideas. And that's going to show you some local competitors and the type of content that they're creating. This is going to give you ideas for creating blog posts using specific keyword search terms. And again, with the other tools we talked about today, you can engage in more high level keyword research. However, today we're just focusing on a beginner's tutorial, helping you get started with keyword research. What I'll do is create a more advanced keyword research tutorial if you're interested in diving deeper into keyword research. However, those are our four keyword research tools and methods that we wanted to discuss today to help you get started with keyword research. And there we have it guys, that is it for this keyword research tutorial for beginners. Now if you have any questions about any of these four methods, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.